Hi there, I'm Mike Thornton from Production Expert, and today we're going to show you the new AX DSP plugin that Townsend Labs have recently released and show you some of the options it opens up for using the Sphere mic modeling system in audio post production workflows with Pro Tools HDX systems. Now, to misquote a well known song, let's start at the very beginning. The Sphere L22 mic has two capsules, each with its own output which more completely captures the directional and distance information otherwise lost with single channel mic modeling systems. This additional information enables the Townsend Lab Sphere DSP plugin to reconstruct how different mics respond to the sound field, as well as provide three dimensional modeling. As the mic has two capsules and two outputs, we need two mic preamps, ideally with a digital gain control. Simply plug the XLR with the white sleeve, which is the front mic, into channel 1, and the second XLR with the red sleeve into channel 2. In this case, I'm using two mic preamps from my Avid HD Omni, which can be linked together so that the gain of both channels are precisely matched. Now I can adjust the preamp gain to get the optimum record level. But don't worry, if your mic preamps aren't digitally controlled, then the Sphere mic has a calibration mode, which is covered in the Sphere manual. Let's take a look now at the plugin interface. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the AAX DSP version of the plugin. But don't worry, there are AX native, audio units, VST, and UAD2 versions of the plugin. The great thing with the AX DSP version is I can monitor through the plugin with no latency. You'll have to take my word for it, but I'm talking to you now through the plugin with headphones on and I'm having no latency issues at all. I'm not going to spend too much time explaining all the options in the plugin. They're covered in our detailed review by James Ivey, in videos from Townsend Labs, and of course in the Sphere manual. On the left hand side of the plugin, we've got these images which tell you the type of mic that is being modeled. In the large condenser menu, we've got things like the 47, so that's mount me through the 47, maybe a 67, and you can hear the sound is changing. Uh, C12, we've got a section here of different 414s, so we could go for the ULS. Then we've got a new Soyuz model, which is new in version 1.4. Then in the hybrid section, we've got a range of mics which aren't large diaphragm condenser mics. So we've got a small diaphragm condenser mic, a 451. We've got the 416. And then we've got the 4038. So here I am speaking to you into a ribbon 4038, but notice on the polar pattern, I'm actually now talking to you with a cardioid version of the 4038 rather than the conventional Fig 8, because the modeling allows me to have polar patterns which the mic never had. The mic never had any filters, but I've got the option of a series of filters here. We can obviously change the axis. And then I can also change the proximity. So without me moving, I can effectively get closer to the mic and further away from the mic, all within the modeling. So these are all things that I can do after the recording session. And that's the great thing. I basically don't need to worry about choosing a mic for, a, say, a voiceover session with the artist in the room Oh, should we try this mic? No, let's try this mic. All taking time. I don't need to worry about that with this Sphere system. I can just put up the Sphere system, get the voiceover artist to record the voiceover, and then decide what mic I'd like to listen to them through after they've gone home. So in context, in the session, I can say, actually, no, that doesn't quite sit right in the mix. So maybe I'll change it, try a different mic. In this session, I've got a track here recorded by our very own James Ivey, who recorded me a voiceover. So let's just put the plug into bypass at the moment, and you can take a listen 
to the native Sphere mic sound. As a result of the new Townsend Labs AX DSP plugin, it is now possible for Pro Tools HDX users to record voiceovers with the Sphere mic and then choose the most appropriate mic after the VO session has finished. So that's the native Sphere mic. So now what we can do is take it out of bypass and rather than say using a 67 as we've got here or a 47, I know James is very partial to a classic C12 sound. So here is James now speaking through a C12. As a result of the new Townsend Labs AX DSP plugin, it is now possible for Pro Tools HDX users to record voiceovers with the Sphere mic and then choose the most appropriate mic after the VO session has finished. If I wanted to go for, say, a 414, I can do, so let's go for the brass one. As a result of the new Townsend Labs AX DSP plugin. And there we go. Now, talking of 414s, I know that Dan is very partial to the 414 ULS. So here we can go into large condenser 414 ULS. And here's Dan with the same voiceover script using a 414 ULS. This new feature opens up a range of new workflow options in audio post-production, including voiceovers and ADR. But I also know that Dan uses his SM7 quite a lot, so we can go into hybrid and choose the SM7. So this is now Dan speaking through an SM7 model. This new feature opens up a range of new workflow options in audio post-production, including voiceovers and ADR. Moving on to ADR, again, you don't need to worry about choosing the mic with the artist in the room, taking extra time choosing your mic. With the Sphere system, just put up the Sphere, record the ADR, and then when the artist has left, you can choose which mics you want to use. Now with the new version 1.4 of the plugin, Townsend Labs have added 10 new models, including the 416. So the 416, classic shotgun mic, great for the boom mic on an ADR session. For the lav mic, we have to be a little bit creative, but we can go to the 451, and then maybe just increase the proximity, so get further away from the mic. So between the 451 and the 416, we've got two mic models that will work really well for ADR sessions for the boom and the lav. And as I say, no need to worry about trying different mics on the studio floor. Just get the artists in, get them recording their lines, and choose the mic models and the positions once you've released the artist. And of course, what I could do is to have two different instances of the plugin from the same mic audio and have the 416 on one instance and the 451 on the other instance, and then to be able to track up my boom and my lav into the session in the conventional way. Finally, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Sphere mic in its stereo mode. Because it has two capsules, you can set it up as a stereo mic. Here in the UK, radio drama is often acted out around a stereo mic, so I can rotate the mic around so that the overlapping rings become the front of the stereo pair, and then use the stereo version of the plugin. So here I am in dead center looking at those two overlapping rings. So now I can come all the way around here to the side, and now I'm talking over on this side, then back through the center and over to this side. So you can see now and here how I move around. So back onto the center, and I hope that shows how you can use the Sphere mic for a radio drama stereo pair, and then change your mic models after the session. I hope this video has given you a taste for some of the audio post-production applications that you can use the Townsend Labs Sphere L22 microphone system for. In the complete article on Production Expert, we have much more info about the Townsend Lab mic modeling system, more examples, as well as the opportunity to be able to download the voiceover sessions from James, Dan, and myself, so that you can try out the Sphere plugin before you buy. Just download the voiceover files from Production Expert, and then go to the Townsend Lab site, create a free account, and then you'll be able to download the plugin and try all the different mic models for yourself, including the 10 new models included in version 1.4 of the plugin. To finish this video, 
I'm going to play the voiceover script that James, Dan and I recorded with a range of different mics for each of us. See you again soon. As a result of the new Townsend Labs AAX DSP plugin, it is now possible for Pro Tools HDX users to record voiceovers with the Sphere mic and then choose the most appropriate mic after the video session has finished. This new feature opens up a range of new workflow options in audio post-production, including voiceovers and ADR. Imagine being able to choose the best mic for an ADR session in your own time after the actor has left the studio.